Yeah, so probably I make a start here. Yeah. So question one. Okay, question one. Okay. Yeah, question one. Mm. So, so in this question, we have uh, uh, two ripple here. So, and it is uh, flow from left to right by this. Uh, stream velocity V, and then the, the wave is expanding uh, radio outwards um, by this velocity, uh, the wave speed, we can denote it as a C node, which we will see later. And we are asked to find the stream speed, which is this V here. So, so that's for part A, and then this is for part B. So the differences between these two uh, is uh, uh, the the string speed. So you can see uh, this one is inside. That means the stream speed for B is slower than the uh, part A. Okay, and. Uh, and we are given the channel depth, uh, 30 centimeter for first part and then 50 centimeter for uh, second part. Okay, so how do we start do, to do these questions? Okay. So we know the, uh, the pebble is uh, dropped from the same point. So we can draw a line through like a tangent. So let's see here, we can draw a line uh, like here. So the, so the pebble is dropped from this point and then, and then it's uh, uh, moved by this uh, string to the, to the right. So the time taken for, the, for this uh, circle to expanding outwards uh, is denoted as uh, uh, C no the velocity, and then during this time it moved by the string speed uh, x no. So the time taken uh, is the uh, distance divided by the velocity, and then for the string speed is x no over v, and then for the wave propagates outwards is four divided by C naught. So you can see for the, this small ripple, it is, uh, it is X naught equal to four V over C naught. So we get expression uh, uh, X naught in terms of V and then C naught. So V is speed and the string speed. And then the C nor is the wave speed. So the wave speed propagate outwards the, the wave. So this bit is for the small uh, ripple. And then for the large ripple, we do the same thing here. But in this case, the, uh, the distance is uh, X nor here, add four and add six and then add nine. So it's uh, two. So it's, so it's this whole distance here. So this whole distance is X nor at 19. And then set la equal to uh, nine over C nor. So nine is uh, the radius of this circle and then C nor is uh, the wave speed. Okay, so we have two equation here involving three unknowns. 
uh, we can we can subtract e equation two. Oh no, sorry, subtracting one from equation two, then we can eliminate x naught. So x naught is not really important in this equation, so we can eliminate that. So we do. Uh, so just subtracting one from two, we get 19 equal to five times V over C naught, and then rearrange to get V over C naught to be 3.8. And then this quantity here, V over C naught is root number, okay, root number. So I, so I screenshot this uh, slide here. So root number is defined as V over C. So V is a string speed, and then C is a wave speed. And then C, the wave speed is also equal to square root of G, uh, G Y, and then, the, and then this Y is the depth of the, of the string. So, so in our case, uh, uh, in, our, in, in the first part is 30 centimeter. So we can compute a C naught by, uh, by putting Z equal to 0 0.3. So convert that into meter. So we get a C naught to be 1.72. Put a C naught back to the previous, uh, this expression we, we then can get V equal to 3.8 times 1.72. So the wave speed for part A is 6.52. Okay, so for part B, it's uh, just the same, everything's the same here. Oh, uh, yes. Mm. So we can see that, that the drop side is here, just uh, connecting this. Oh, I have to Yeah, so that's the drop slide here. So you can see the time taken is x naught over v for the small um, pebble here. x naught over v is equal to three over c naught. And then rearrange that to get uh, equation three. And then for the large ripple, we have x naught add four. So x naught add four here just to the center of the large ripple and over V is equal to nine over C naught. So nine is the radius of a large ripple and then over C naught. And then we get uh, equation four here. So just, just same process as previous question, subtracting three from four and then rearrange to get V over C naught to be two third. Okay, so, so, so in first, first question, the fluid number is greater than one. And then for part B is smaller than one. Okay, smaller than one, okay. If it's smaller than one, that means the, the flow speed is lower than the uh, undisturbed wave speed, okay. So you can see for, for, for the wave speed is 2.215 and then the velocity is 1.48, okay? Okay, so that's uh, question one. Do you have any questions? Okay, no. Well, uh, maybe then we move on to the question two here now. Question two. So,
Okay, question two. Okay, so a thumbnail placing the surface of a channel flow crater which like with half angle, 20, uh, 25 degree, and then the water depth is given 20 centimeter. And then we ask to find the flow velocity. So yeah, flow velocity V, uh, like stream speed. So yeah, we can like draw a potential like imaginary uh, ripple here. So we can start by this. Yeah, so we can start by drawing one of the uh, ripple. And then, and then you can see the, because we, we are not given uh, the delta t, so we just write the distance here is u times delta t. So u is the flow velocity and then delta t is the time taken. And then the radius here is wave speed c naught times delta t. Okay. And then, and then, and then angle here is 25 degree. So we can, we can use this angle to relate to these two. So sine of this angle is Uh, sine of 25 is opposite over hypotenuse. So C no over uh, C no delta T over U delta T. Okay, and then we can cancel out uh, delta T. So after we cancel out delta T, uh, we write C, uh, C no as square root of uh, GZ. And then we ask to find the flow of velocity u, and then we just rearrange that equation here. Uh, u equal to square root of gz over sine 25. We know that uh, uh, the z is uh, 20 centimeter, so it's 0 0.2. And then put all the values in, we get uh, flow velocity to be 3.3 meter per second. So the key point in this equation is just to realize that we can use the sine of flat angle. Yeah. Okay, very, very simple question. This one just, uh, just this. Then we move on to question three now. Um, question three. So in this question, we have a, a wider clean, clean earth river. Uh, okay, and then the Q is given. Uh, 40 meter square per second. And then we ask to find uh, uh, the critical depth and then the fluid number. And then we ask to find a conjugate depth to the one above five meter. And then the full number at least that. Okay. So firstly, what is meant by uh, critical depth? So what is meant by critical depth? Yeah. Okay. Okay, so critical depth is when the fluid number is equal to one. Okay, so critical depth is when a uh, fluid number equal to one. So this is really important. Yeah. So so when <laughs> So, so what is formula for root number? Yeah, 
over C. Yeah, so V over C, yeah. So V over C means V equal to C. That means the flow speed is equal to undisturbed wave speed. Then F, FR equal to one. Yeah, that's right. Okay, let's see. Okay, so critical depth. Yeah, yeah, F I equals one. And then next, uh, we are going to work out the 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 flow flow speed, the actual flow speed. So we know the C no equal to square root of G Z, and then Q is equal to C no times Z. Uh, like uh, conservation of uh, uh, mass of mass, so C no times Z. So if you see like square root of G Z Z, and then rearrange to get uh, Z, and then expression for Z, then we can find the critical depth. So this is the critical depth. So at least depth with this Q, the flow number is equal to one. Okay, and then if you see here, the actual depth is greater, greater than this critical depth. So what's that mean? If it's greater, Subcritical sub critical flow means the, the, the flow speed it will be greater. Yeah. Okay. So what does it mean to have a greater depth greater than greater depth? The flow speed will be lower than the undisturbed wave speed. Okay. So this is how we uh, uh, how we so if u is greater than c no, then f r equal uh, greater than one. If if u is less than c no, then f r is less than one. Okay. So then we can find the full number in the actual case, which is just u over g z, and it's indeed less than one. Okay. So it's no point four. Okay. So it's no point four. It's less than one. If you work out just by putting the u over g z, so it's less than one. Okay, okay. That's so that completed the first part of the question, and then we, and then for the second question, we asked to find the conjugate depth. So what does it mean by conjugate depth? Okay, so uh, conjugate depth is the the other depth with the same specific energy under the same flow rates. Okay, so I, so I have a chart here. Okay, so you can see this chart. So same specific energy. So for example, if we, if we have a, a FR is lower. So for example, somewhere here, oh, let me put, if I have somewhere here, that means we have another conjugate, conjugate depth here, somewhere here, with the same specific energy, but with a different y value, which is a different depth. Okay, so we are we are going to find this y value here. So the minimum is when f i equal to one. Yeah. So last. So if if f i is above one. And there's always two conjugate depth with the same specific energy and the same flow rates. Okay, so the flow, the, so, so the specific energy is this formula here, Z plus U square over 2G. So we, our U is 2.8 and then 
Z is five. So the specific energy is 5.4 meter. Okay, so, so it is related with another country depth with uh, superscript denotes as two. That means we are going to find this Z2. So this is for Z1, uh, one here, one, uh, U1. And then we are going to find the Z2. So, uh, yeah, so just, uh, we, we don't know use, but we know the Q. Q, Q is the same. So we can re, uh, substitute uh, U equal to QZ with this, and then we just get uh, in terms of Q rather than the velocity. So Z is Z2 plus Q squared over 2GZ to square is equal to 5.4. So this is the equation we are going to solve. So just times the both sides by Z square, and then we get a cubic equation. We get a cubic equation here. So we are going to solve this equation. And then the E here is 5.4, okay? So there's two methods to solve this equation. You can either use the, uh, what, like, uh, Maybe in the exam, you can just put in the, like this calculator really good. Just put in the coefficient in, and you can just solve this equation. It's equal to Z equal to five or 1.63, okay? And then there's another method, bisection method. Just by, just by guess, guessing the values, okay? So we know, uh, we know we have a subcritical is equal uh, in our previous case, that means the uh, another depth will be supercritical. So our guess should be above the, above that value. So it should be somewhere value between the above the above two point seven one. Oh, sorry, below, below la. Because we have five, which is above la, that means we are going to have another value below 2.71. So we can try different, different Z values. So between one and two, you can see uh, for, for one, that is positive and that's negative. That means the Z value is somewhere between one and two. Then we try the middle value here and then it's positive, so it's somewhere value between 1.5 and 2. And then we just continue the process and, until we find that it's equal to 1.63. So Z2, the conjugate depth is 1.63. Yeah? So there are two methods. If you just use calculator, you can get that 1.63 straight away. Okay, so that's question three. Uh, okay, question four. Question four is a quite difficult one. Uh, yeah, very difficult. So firstly, we are consider a flow over a bump. So here is a bump here. And then H, HX is the height of the bump. And then yx is the height of the, uh, this water uh, flow, uh, water, water depth. And then v0 is initial velocity, and then vx is the flow speed as function of x. So we are going to uh, derive this equation. dy over dx is the uh, change of the water depth. And then dh with dh over dx is the change of the bond popular height. And then gy, yeah, we know that. And then v is the uh, velocity of speed into dx. 
So it's function of this v is function of x, and then our y is just uh, uh, yeah function of x too. So this is all function of x. Okay, so we are asked to use the continuity and the Bernoulli equation to show that. Okay, so let's begin. Uh, we do that. So we are going to use a uh, conservation of mass and Bernoulli equation. Okay, so firstly, continuity. So Vy is equal to a constant, okay? V is a function of X and the Y is function of X. So we are going to uh, differentiate with, with, with respect to X. Okay, so just partial uh, differentiation Y times that plus V times that. So just uh, the, the chain rule. And then we rearrange to get uh, velocity gradients. So uh, delta V of delta X is velocity gradient, okay? So we get, we get one expression for the velocity gradient. And then we use Bernoulli's equation, V squared over two plus G Y plus H. So Y plus H is, uh, So you can see y plus h is, is the taken at the surface of the string, which means there's no pressure term. So we eliminate the pressure term. So again, differentiate with, with respect to x. So v squared over two differentiate become v times delta v dot x. And then y plus h is just these two terms. Just differentiate with, with, with respect to x. And then, and then re, and rearrange in terms of the velocity gradients. Delta v over delta x, okay? So you can see we have, we have two equations here, um, expression for velocity gradients. Then we can set these two equal to each other, equating the two, we, we have less. Okay, equating to have less. So after equating that, so after equating these two, and then we just do some rearrangements, and then we have delta y over delta x is equal to that, which is given in the equation which is what's given in the question here, okay? So, so just notes here, V square over G, GY is fruit number square. So, so, so this term here is fruit number square, okay? Okay, so, okay, so is the, is the drawing down of the water surface realistic in the figure? So, so you can see here, the water surface decrease Okay, it's decreased. And is it, is it realistic? So what's that mean if we have a decreased uh, water height? That means we have a negative, we, we, that means we have a negative dy over dx term. Okay, so if the water height is decreased, that means we have a we have a negative term here. Okay, we have, we have a negative term here. And then H here, the bump is increasing. That means we have a positive term here. Yeah, well, we have a positive term here. So in order to have a, a negative over term, we we need to have a positive turn here. We need to have a positive turn here. So the overall will be negative. That means V square over GY has to be less than one. Yeah, 
So that's a conclusion here. The observed shape is possible provided the flow is subcritical. FR is less than one. Okay, so that, that explains this. So if FR is less than one, the water surface will decrease. And, uh, and if FR is greater than one, this will be, uh, if, if FR is greater than one, then it will be like this. Yeah? So it will be just like that instead of this, okay? Okay, next bit. Uh, yeah, so provided FR is less than one. Okay, so, so we are given Y0, Q, and then H max. So we just substitute the values in V over GY0, and then replacing V with Q over Y0. And it, it is indeed less than one. So I just compute our value to be 0 0.535. So it is less than one, and it is supercritical flow. Okay, so that's uh, this bit here, fr equal to 0 0.535. And then finally, we're asked to plot the flow. y equal to function of e. Oh, we haven't. We, ha we, ha we, have, we have to work out the uh, conditions here, which is the, the, the y value here. Okay, so firstly, we use the Bernoulli's equation here along the surface. So v no square over two plus g y no equal to la. So this is the initial condition, uh, v no here, and then, and then it's equal to the this. We are going to find the H max and then YC. Oh, sorry, H max is given here. So we are going to find the YC. Okay, so just similar to previous questions, uh, the, the left hand side is all, is, is all given in equations. So just uh, satellite equal to A. So, for, so this A is a constant. And then equal to the right hand side here. And then this is a function of F y, uh, function of y c. And then by putting the value that we know in, we got this cubic equation. Okay, and then if we use the calculator to solve this equation, we get these two values. And then this negative value is uh, non-physical. So we just need reject it and then the y is, yc is 0 0.63. Okay, or you can use the bisection method here. And then, and then you find the yc equal to 0 0.63. And then finally, we, we work out the velocity at the crest. So q over yc. So q is 1.2. And then y c is what we just determined, 0 0.63. And then the uh, velocity is found to be 1.9. And the through number is 0 0.77, which is yeah, subcritical. And then finally, we plot the um, flow here. So, so that's uh, state one to two, but it's not uh, the minimum through number equal to one. So yeah, so it's just decreasing. The specific energy is decreased. But uh, E plus H is a constant. Yeah. Okay, so that's a uh, question five, uh, question four, sorry. Okay, any questions? No? Right. Okay, question five. Okay, so in this question, we have a through skates. Okay, so Y1, V1 are given, and then Y2 and the V2. 
uh, downstream of gates. Okay, so we, we assume the upstream connected energy is uh, negligible. And then we are going to divide this uh, formula here, Q squared over Y1 cubed B squared G as a function of Y1 over Y2. Okay, so that's, uh, so again, if we see this uh, open channel flow question, we use the new lease equation and the uh, conservation uh, continu con continuity. Okay, so conservation of mass and then Bernoulli's. Okay, so firstly, you, we use a uh, conservation mass. So V1, Y1 is equal to V2, Y2, and it's equal to Q over B. B is the wave. So flow, flow per unit wave. Okay, so V1, Y1 equal to V2, Y2. And then we use a uh, Bernoulli's equation. And then in the question, we we are given here, the upstream connected energy is negligible. So you can see V1, uh, V1 square over two, this thing is canceled, okay? This thing is canceled because we assume upstream connected energy is negligible, okay? So we just ignore this term here. <clears throat> And then you can see here, we have this expression and then rearrange to get expression for Y1. Because, because uh, uh, then, because we are going to get less, then we just uh, multiply by, by this term here, Y2 square over Y1 cubed. And then we get less. And then we just do some rearrangements and then we get uh, the one given in the equation, Q square over Y1 cube B2G as a function of Y1 over Y2. Okay. Then we just uh, put the value that we know, uh, Y1, Y2, B, rearrange, get Q, 14.6 meter per second. Okay, and then we are, and then finally we ask to find the, okay, so, so that's flow rate. And then finally we ask to find the downstream flow number. So downstream flow number is FR2 over V2 over square root of GY2. So express V2 as Q over, oh, okay, yeah, here, ah, as shown here, uh, here. V2 equal to Q over Y2B. Okay, so we put the values in, we found FR2 equal to one. Wow, so, so the downstream case is that the flow speed is equal to the undisturbed wave speed. Very, very special case, FR equal to one, okay? Okay, and then next question here. Yeah, very, very similar to the previous question, but in this case, we have a hydraulic jump. Uh, jump. We, have, we have a hydraulic jump after. Uh, in, in here, we, we don't have hydraulic jump. In here, we have hydraulic jump. Okay, so question six, hydraulic jump. Okay, so what's the difference between these two questions? Uh, y1 is much higher. And then, and then in question six, we have V1. In a previous qu uh, question, we, it is assumed negligible, but in, but in question six, it is given 0.6. And then we ask to find the uh, Percentage dissipation. So we are going to find the percentage dissipation due to this hydraulic jump. If there's a hydraulic jump, that means the energy is dissipated as a turbulence flow, uh, turbulent, due to turbulence. You can, you can have a like, similar ana analogy to the compressible flow. Uh, so hydraulic jump is similar to the 
shock wave in a compressible flow. If you if you have a shock wave, the energy is dissipated as heat. But in our uh, open channel flow, it is dissipated as uh, turbulence. Okay, so we are going to find the percentage dissipation. Okay, so just uh, firstly, we just do the same similar procedure, Con conservation of continuity, and then use the Bernoulli's equation. Okay, so find y two, uh, find y two. Uh, yeah, y one and then v one is given. Uh, y oh, okay. So let's see. This is very important here. We cannot apply Bernoulli's across the joint. Yeah, we can only apply between one and two but we cannot apply Bernoulli between two and three. Why? Because there's a losses. In Bernoulli, we assume there's um, no losses. Yeah, so we cannot apply Bernoulli between hydraulic joint. Okay, so firstly, we, we apply continu continuity between one and two. So just these two states here, just before the hydraulic joint. So V1, Y1 is equal to V2, Y2, and then apply Bernoulli's between one and two. V1 square over two plus GY1 is equal to V2 square over two plus GY2. Okay, and then rearrange that equation to get expression for Y2. Yeah, here. Yeah, Y2. And then we times this equation by Y2 square. And, that, and you can see it's, uh, the, and then rearrange to all one side and set that equal to zero. And then put the value that we know in y1 equal to three, v1 no point six, and then g uh, and all the values in. Okay, so this is again a cubic equation. Okay, cubic equation. So yeah, you, you, you just solve this cubic equation to find a y2. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, I just shown here the, using the bisection method. So found y2 to be 0 0.24. So y2 is 0 0.24 meter. Okay, and then we know y2 equal to 0 0.24. Then we can use that to find V2 using this continuity. So V1, Y1 is, uh, V1 is 0.6 and Y1 is three. And then V2 is, is just that divided by Y2. So that's how we find V2 to be 7.4 meter per second. Okay, so we found the condition at two. We, we know the Y2 and then V2, okay? And then across the joint, this formula here, okay? You can see this formula. Y3, Y2, FR2, okay? So if we know the through, through number before the hydraulic joint, and if we know the Y2, we can work out Y3, okay? So where's this formula come from, okay? So it's come from here. Uh, I screenshot this from the lecture notes here, the equation 2.29 here, see? Okay, so, so but, but here is a different subscript two and one, but we, but, but we just use three and two in our equation. Okay, so equation, is the general solution of a quadratic equation. One solution is un unphysical because it's negative. So just using the one is that it's positive, okay? So to use this equation, we need to find the full number at two first. So just V2 over square root of uh, GY2, and then it's equal to 4.8, okay? 4.8, so FR2 is equal to 
And then we substitute uh, into this equation y3 half times 0.24 brackets here. Okay, everything in. So y3 is 1.53. Okay, so we can see uh, it jumped about uh, 1.53 take away 0.24. The height is raised by 1.29 meter. Okay, the height is right, right by 1.29 meter. And then finally, we asked to find the percentage of uh, dissipation. And then we use this formula here, uh, E2 minus E3 over E2. So specific energy, the, the change of the specific energy over specific energy at the state two. And then, it's, it is equal to one minus E3 over E2, and then E3 is that, and E2 is this, just, and then it's Y plus V square over 2G, and then put all the values in here, now we determined. And then we found the uh, percentage of dissipation to be 47%, which is very, a lot of losses, yeah? Okay, so yeah, 49 minutes. Maybe I will spend uh, like three minutes for the last question. So last question is very short, okay? No, the last question, okay? And then, okay, so I move on to the final question, yeah? Final question. Final question for tutorial. <clears throat> okay, so we are, we are given the, okay, final question, yeah? So we are given the, 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 the wave and then the depth and then the flow rate. If a hydraulic jump occur, will it be upstream or downstream this point? So what's the condition before the hydraulic jump? Is it, is the flow number greater than one or smaller than one? Before the hydraulic jump, is, is it through number greater than one or smaller than one? Less. Less than one? Why? The um, velocity isn't high enough to the No, it, it's the opposite. Okay. Mm -hmm. so, so if you think uh, as a compressible flow, before the, before the shock, is the Mach number greater than one or slow, smaller than one? Is it greater or smaller before the shock? So, oh, yeah, larger. So in this case, it will be larger as well. So oh. through the number before the hydraulic jump will be larger. Oh, okay. And then after, after the hydraulic jump, the yeah. through number will be yeah. less than one. Yes. Yeah. So for the, for the shock wave, the Mach number before the shock is greater than one, and then after the shock, it will be less than one. So we can almost um, imagine that um, the hydraulic jump is a bit like a shock wave. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you can think of that way, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so final question. You, all, you, all you do is just compute the FR. So basically, compute the FR. And then it is found to be greater than one. So if it, if it is greater than one, that means the hydraulic jump will be downstream the, this point. Okay, so that's it. If you, if you understand this, then this question will be so easy. Just compute FR and then just say downstream this point. And then I sketch this uh, for you. Okay, so I sketch this one for you. Uh, Before the hydraulic jump, FR is greater than one. And then after the hydraulic jump, FR is less than one. So you can think of as like a shock wave. Shock wave. Before is M greater than one. And then after, M less than one. Okay? Yeah, so that's it for all the tutorial. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's the end of today's session.
If you have any questions, you can ask me. Uh, otherwise, good luck on your exams. <laughs> right. I think uh, Dr. Dawson may mentioned a lot. Uh, let me think. Okay, Doros is mentioned that so you should uh, uh, you should uh, put a more emphasis on question one three five six. Yeah, one three five six. Okay. Let's, uh, stop. Okay.